Yo, this is Nuno Socks, and I was watching some drama-related videos, or whatever you want to call them, and one of the things that uh, I noticed was that people don't like infinite combos, and I'm thinking, I'm like, I guess it's easier to just complain about something than actually dealing with it. Uh, that's, that's how the majority of people that play the Dragon Ball games, including the Naruto games, uh, play, you know, that's their mentality, you know, um, for example, the infinite combos, I'm talking specifically about the uh, infinite combos that the opponent needs to use an evasive skill to get out, to me, those are not infinite combos, an infinite combo to me is when you force the opponent in, into a, a standing state, that way they don't gain stamina faster, uh, when the game came out, you have tons of them. And the Frieza patch, the revival of Frieza or whatever, the third DLC, um, they they nerf a lot of moves that will force the opponent to, uh, to stand, like energy shot. And that paralyze thingy from Raditz, not only uh, fully paralyzes on counter hit, the other one doesn't even uh, stun the opponent. But they still left out certain moves that will force the opponent to stand. Or they don't really force the opponent to stand. Like the Kamehameha cancel. Uh, you can just do it. And you can do the into the jump attack. If you have a, a good jump attack. And if you don't, you, you have to cancel the cancel. So it will look like punch, punch, punch. Kamehameha, cancel the Kamehameha with the jump, cancel the jump into basic attack, and then repeat. That's kind of harder to do. That's why you don't really see people use that. But with practice, it's not that hard. Um, the other one, you have certain super attacks that force the opponent to stand, like uh, Key Blast Cannon or whatever the name of that move is. Um, that move was also, they turned it into a counter hit kind of move. Uh, but yeah, um, the other one that no one uses is Light Grenade. Uh, with humans, at least I used to use this with humans when the game came out. It was, I would punch, 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 and then charge the super a little bit, and then it will stun them, and then I will continue my combo. And it's infinite. Uh, if you don't have stamina, you, you're you not going to get stamina. And since I know you're not using one of those easels that, you know, helps you get out of a, a person's combo like giving you armor every time there's a chance of giving it how do i say this giving you armor every time i hit you there's a chance for that to happen people don't use those z souls um increasing your stamina or in key recovery um there's a for every time that i hit you there's a chance you know chances z souls i don't like them but they're in the game for a reason, and people don't use them. And then, okay, back to the actual infinite thingy. That's not really an infinite. Uh, the problem with that, to me personally, is not the infinite itself. It's the amount of damage you, the person is doing. Because the people that are using those uh, are most likely using a male Saiyan, humans, and Freezer race. Uh, they're probably using an, uh, a margin as well, but since they have a slower stamina recovery rate, uh, people don't really use them. And even if you give them a Z-Soul that increases their stamina recovery rate, it becomes slightly above normal. And the characters that already have a normal one, if you give them a Z the same Z-Soul, it will increase their stamina recovery rate by a lot. So yeah, it's, it's not worth it to do that. Um... Like I said before, it's easier to complain about something than actually dealing with it. And this is how the majority of people are playing the game. So, the one of the ways... When you reach a specific level in, in, in fighting games, you will have a certain mindset about something. Um, this is kind of hard to explain, but it's like... Uh, you don't like infinite combos, right? To me, I also don't like them, but it's mostly because of the damage they're doing. So I will either use a Z-Soul that increases my defense, right? Or I will use a Z-Soul that moves me out of the way or helps me move out of the way. 
like armor, etc. So the other thing is I'm not going to let my opponent put me in a position that allows them to put me in an infinite. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's something like that. Um, yeah, it's something like that. I hope that makes sense. Um, so by not, for example, I'm using a Namekian, right? My Namekian only has three, six bars of uh, stamina, right? And I'm fighting against people that have 10, right? I'm not going to go and play the I hit you, you vanish, you hit me, I vanish kind of game. That's stupid. I would lose. I only have six bars of stamina. So what, what do I need to do to, uh, to beat him and be able to combo him so I can maximize my damage? That's why I have, that's what having a, a lot of stamina doesn't let the opponent do to you. It, it doesn't allow them to maximize damage because you have a lot of stamina. You can use your evasive skills, normal vanishing, etc. It becomes harder, harder uh, for the opponent to maximize their damage. So my care, I'm using an American, like I said, and my idea is to deplete your stamina with my jump attack. I'm going to make a theory fighting from an American right after this. And I will use my super attacks to deplete your stamina. Sometimes I don't even need to deplete your stamina to deal damage. Because as an American, this is theory fighting already. I can fight you in the neutral game. I beat you in the neutral game. I can use Shine Shot, Destructo Disc, Super Ghost Kamikaze Attack. One thing that I learned about Kamikaze Attack is that Kamikaze means divine wind or something like that. Kami means God. Kaze means wind. So, randomness. Back to the video. Back to the video. Um, what was I talking about? I completely lost it. Shit. Okay. This is awkward. Okay. Again, they're not actually infinite. Oh, I remember. I will... Sometimes I don't need to use, uh, I don't need to deplete your stamina to actually deal damage because I can win in the neutral game. Since the Namekians have long uh, uh, range, so they can beat you in the neutral game. I think I said this before, right? Yeah, but you get the point. So in, in certain cases, I don't need to deplete your stamina because you will get hit by certain super attacks that you can even block. And you're not going to use an evasive skill with against super attacks. The only reason you would do that is if you, I don't know, you're about to die or something like that. Because outside of that, if unless they do a billion damage, it's not worth it. Some people, this is about managing your stamina, which a lot of people are incapable of doing. That's why you see a lot of people with 10 bars of stamina, uh, an evasive skill, it's their mag dash or energy barrier, and then they use the super attack, rise to action. And in most cases, they're using a human, so they get key regeneration, so they don't have to do anything to gain key, so they can use rise to action all the time. Uh, to, when you play against those guys, the only way you can beat them is either you have armor, which completely nullifies whatever they can do. Obviously, your defense gets slower, but you can use a Z-Soul to fix that, and then you can use a pose to maximize your defense even more. Um, so... If you don't know what I mean, I made a video about that. Well, it's not really specifically about that, but the male Saiyan only has four bars of stamina. You get the point. Um, the only way to fight against those kinds of players is by using, by, by not engaging into a fight, into that specific game. You know, because that specific game is made to beat themselves up. Because they're fighting... To beat them, like I said, I think I said this before, they're, they're using, they're maximizing their chances of winning against people that fight like them. And not against, uh, for example, a female human, right? You give the female human 10 bars of key, and you just, just run away, right? Because of the net code, you can hit them, and they hit you with shine shot all the time. They hit you with destructor disc all the time. Having 10 bars of stamina won't really help you, like... You will. You can use your evasive skills, but again, it's up to me if I use my evasive skill or not. 
you know, you try to attack me, I will probably hit you with uh, evil explosion or something like that. Um, so your stamina won't really help you. Like you will, if you use your stamina, the hit is only one hit. So it probably already deal already did the damage. So you're just wasting your stamina to get the fuck out of there. And the longer you play that specific game, I'm. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Okay, I'm done with that. I I'm, I'm think I'm done with this, but my final point is that infinite stamina, infinite, um, infinite combos are not really infinite combos because the game gives you tools to get out of them. The problem is the damage, and you can deal with that, but you don't want to use a Z Soul that deals with that. So, in theory, you don't want to deal with that. It seems to me that. The people that complain about this, they don't want to deal with the problem. They just want to complain about it. Um, so, yeah. It's like, for example, Super Saiyans. When the game came out, everyone was complaining about the Saiyan transformation, right? And because they were con constantly using ultimate attacks. But, <laughs> but the ultimate attacks that they were using, they wouldn't combo. They didn't combo into them. So you could just move around them and completely avoid them. And then people learn that you can break their guard when they use an ultimate attack, right? And then some ultimates have a, a stagger thingy. You can parry that. You can parry that. Some of them you can parry and then it will still hit you. Others you can parry and it, it's, it's, it's completely gone. So you can break their guard. And then eventually people rely on Death Ball and Super Vanishing Ball and was there any? And Spirit Bomb and whatever is. Because they will track. They did a lot of damage and they will track. And Death Ball and Super Vanishing Ball combo into each other. Into themselves. You know, and then... Against Death Ball, you had to wait. Because there was no hitbox on, on the character. So you couldn't break their guard. As a Saiyan, if you're fighting a Saiyan spamming that, you had to wait. Literally. So I guess they nerfed it because of that. But the nerf was not really a good one. Because they completely destroyed the move. The same thing happened with... Uh, Super Electric Strike, or whatever the name of that move was. Um, the same thing happened with uh, Super Vanishing Ball. Basically, with a lot of nerves, they were not really necessary. It was just people that didn't know how to play that complained about it, so they nerfed them. Nerfed the things that they would complain about. But yeah, maybe I should make a video about that. Were the nerfs really necessary? I can see it already. I will try to put gameplay on that one, but whatever. Um, my final point is people don't want to deal with things, they just want to complain about it and run from them. Yeah, that's my point. Because everything in the game has a, a counter. If you think about it, just... Okay, I'm going to give an example. When the game came out, I went online, I was using... I think it was a female Majin. Yeah, a female Majin. And I was playing against this guy that was using a male human. It was a Keyblast character. He had uh, the freeze, the Vegito clothes, um, and and he literally just the only thing he did was Godbreaker, 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 and I got angry. I lost against that bullshit. And I didn't went online and made a video complaining about that. I went into the poorest man training mode since this game doesn't have a training mode and trying to figure out ways. To counter fucking Gunbreaker, right? And I learned, and because of that, I also made a video to help other people to give people some ideas. And then you have other people on the on the YouTubes that also made other videos helping people out to fight against that. Because my character was a full strike, basic attack strike. To me, it's the same thing, a character, and how to deal with that. You know. And then the next time that I play against that guy, he got wrecked. But yeah. You know, people don't want to actually learn how to play the game. They just want to complain about it. That's my final thought. Damn, this video is long as fuck. Whatever. <laughs> Bye.